Nice. Ooh, got lifted up by it too. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> Oh man, this is this is uh that's horrible cuz uh Welcome back to some Arc Velgaro. We're here hovering over near the green obelisk. I have uh something I found when I was coming back from the Wyvern base a little bit ago. There is a Quetzal. Level 130. So I haven't ever tamed a Quetzal um where I didn't have a griffin that I could shoot off of. So I have Kind of something I want to try out. Uh, I've been wanting to try with like a tapir or, or something that runs from you. I'm not sure if it's going to work. So let me set the bird down and I'll show you what I'm going to try. So with me I brought some behemoth gates. To set up my normal trap. And I also brought some rare flowers. So this is kind of a, kind of a calm area. Not much around. A couple Argentavis I'll kill. But I'm wondering if I can set my trap up here. Clear this out, and then eat the rare flowers, get the Quetzal to follow me, and uh, get them trapped. Not sure if it's going to work. However, I want to try. <laughs> so this might be a, uh, a huge fail. And if it does, well, then I know for next time. So that's the plan for today, is get the Quetzal. I haven't seen any on this map, really. Uh, I saw one over by my base a long time ago. But uh, it was almost impossible to, to take it down because it kept uh, flying over the water. Definitely didn't want to drop them there. Let's see, I'm just going to get rid of all this stuff for now. I'll keep the metal. And this should be just long enough for the five, uh, five gates. So now comes a part of... Trying to set them up and not have them spaced out. Oh, man, I forgot how big they were. Dang it. All right, let's start at this end. We can go right to the edge because there's no reason not to. I don't know how big of an opening the Quetzal can get out of. Alright, that should be good enough. Get him in here, and then, uh, hopefully I'm the one that can slip out of there, not him. I don't think he can make it through there. Could he? Oh, man, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous. It's a, uh, it's a lot of resources to get all this together, so. Um, should be alright. I don't plan on going out that way. This is the one I need to open. Yeah, open that way. Alright, so I want to test something else to see if the Argentavis can make it out through that. Dang, man, that might be too big. Hmm. I think it'll be alright. We're going to try it. So everything's set. That kind of makes it easier because then I can come straight in here and uh, off to the side. And then I'll run over while the bird's taking the, the the brunt of the damage. Let's go ahead and get these hot barred. There's the Quetzal. That is the right one, right? Hopefully there's only one. Yes. Alright. Dude, would you... i tell you what. Does it even work on a Quetzal? It doesn't. Oh my gosh, it's a pterodon too. So it doesn't work on a Quetzal. Well, that's kind of horrible. Why would it not? I thought it made everything mad at you. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm going to have to resort to... Uh, to plan B, and I'll have to go back to base, get a grapple, and I'll grapple my Argentavis. Yep, I'll show you what I mean, if you don't know. We'll be back in a couple minutes. Let me, uh, man, I hope he stays around here. Let me head over and get the stuff I need. 
All right, so the plan here is to jump off my bird, grapple extremely fast, my bird, and then set him to attack that target. And he should kind of fly towards the Quetzal and allow me to be able to hit it with my, uh, my long neck. That is, if I can grapple my bird before I fall and die. However, let's try it. Well, that totally did not work. <laughs> oh, man, I tell you what. Oh, my bird's too far away to call it. Oh, wait, maybe because I have... No? Let's see. Yeah, he's way too far away. Oh, man, I might have messed up. Dude, I almost died, too. There's a Carno I saw behind me. Somewhere. Oh, there he is. Nice. Oh, man, I tell you what. Dude, that took so long. So let's... Let's try this. I'm gonna try the same thing. But, um... But maybe I can do it to where I can see the Quetzal. And then my bird can just be hovering, hovering off the ground a little bit. Dude, I literally almost died on that one. <laughs> oh, mistakes have been made. I lost the Quetzal. I almost jumped to my death. I knew I should have brought a parachute. But I was like, nah, it'll be fine. I don't know what his flight path is. I've only ever seen him over here. Right? He probably saw me jump off and was like, man, I don't want no part of that. Whatever's going on, <laughs> count me out. Alright, so he's not over here. Alright, so I found the Quetzal. Make sure that's the same one. I'd hate to go through all this trouble and then it'd be like a second Quetzal around. Alright, that's him. So good thing is, he's pretty low. That's why I kind of missed him earlier. See if I can get up here, and I'll jump off my bird and do the grapple trick before he leaves. Nice. Okay. So that's going to work. kind of hard to uh hard to shoot him when he's moving they're shocking tra trank darts so it shouldn't take too many i just don't know if i need to aim ahead or what dude get him before he goes too far well i'll tell you what Ooh, if he goes down up here, that'd be so good. Where are you going, man? Can you fly any lower, man? Well, I tell you what. Oh, hurry, man, before he gets over water. Oh, I thought he was down. Oh, nice. He is down. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, the thing is now, how do I get him to land? Dude, there's sabers down there. Uh-oh. Well. That sucks. Dude, I hope those sabers don't get to him. Uh, 
I'm gonna jump down real quick and get on. Can I? Can you? Thank you. Jump on the wyvern. Oh man, I tell you what. Please be there still. All right, so there's my body. No! Get away, wolves! Or not wolves, but you know what I mean. The sabers. Dude, I'm glad he landed up on that rock. Oh, one more. Dude, there's a bunch of them. I seem to make sure I don't uh mess up and hit him. Oh, nice. He's at a good place. What else is left, man? I took everything. Oh. Alright. Can I get up? No, he's tearing him up. Dude, you messed up my team. I tell you what. Maybe I didn't mess it up because I haven't started taming him. That would be phenomenal. I have no idea where my Arjun Davis is. Oh. Still up there flying? Uh, where's the land? Nice! Still unconscious. Alright, let's go ahead and... Put all that on. Would you please do something? Running me under the rocks and everything. Well, I tell you what. I'll replace you. Where are you going? Where are you going? Dude, I tell you what, man, I do not know what's up with this thing. Neutral, go to, go to, just go to neutral, man. Just stay there. Don't move! Well, this taming, taming effectiveness isn't that bad. I mean, it's just down to 85. I thought it would have been a lot worse because of the, uh, the sabers that was gnawing on them. All right, that's good. Let's uh, let's take a quick look around. Make sure we're safe. Easier to navigate on the birds and the wyvern. Man, oh, it's been quite the morning. Holy crap! Saber, sabers everywhere. Let's get this Arden Tavis out of the way. Because you know he's gonna come around and mess stuff up. We should be good now. I do not know what's up with that dude. Man, I'm just going to let him go, man. Let him do his thing. Maybe I uh, maybe I shot him with a couple of trank darts and he's all kind of messed up. <laughs> Who knows? Need a look. I don't even know if I have a Ket saddle unlocked. A Ketzel. Yeah, and he's gonna take a while. All right, we'll be back whenever uh, she. Excuse me. She's about ready to wake up. Nice. Ooh, got lifted up by it too. <laughs> Whoa, where are you going? <laughs> Oh man, this is this is uh that's horrible because I don't have a parachute or a saddle. <laughs> man, this whole team has just been issues after issues. Uh
At least we got our tame though. Level 184. Let's take those out. 7,800 almost on the health. Uh, stamina is 184. Uh, oh, 1,800. Excuse me. Um, 1,200 on the weight. We got to work on that. That's the main thing we're going to be using it for. And then uh, damage is uh, 353. Not too worried, but wow, movement speed 136. Okay, okay. Well, we have the whole gang here. Let's uh, get back to base and uh, get a saddle made for this thing and take it out for a spin. Man, I'm so glad that we got it tamed. That was uh, <laughs> that was almost a huge fail. Another lovely Valgaro morning. Not quite sure how this is going to work out with landing. Maybe he'll sit down over there. Woo! Bring it in close! <laughs> uh, you just going to hover there, buddy? Yeah? Looks pretty neat in the sun there. Take the uh, Argentavis out from underneath it. Maybe it'll land. No? Still nothing? Is it not good enough for you? Is that what it is? Alright, let's go ahead and make the saddle. Let's see, what was it? I did have it unlocked already, too. So, we need some silica pearls, some mini paste, fiber, hide. Uh, should have everything? Yeah, we're good. I didn't see how much of each one. What was it? Silica pearls? High to fiber, right? Uh, was it six or seven? Yeah, I think it was 750 on that one. Awesome. Uh, let's get rid of this stuff real quick. So, let's take our saddle. And you are definitely going into weight. Nice. So the only thing is he's slow. I don't think he can pick, okay, he can't pick up water dinos. He's, uh, he's pretty slow, but man, he can carry most of the things with it. We'll be using it for a, a platform for um, for going to get metal and stuff instead of taking the Argentavis and stuff. Make it a little bit easier. Nice, though. Glad we got one. Surprised to see it where it was. We'll just leave you up here. Oh, you can't, can't move backwards. Good thing we got some of that speed increase because, man, these things are slow. Look at that. Perfect landing spot for you. Awesome. Well, we uh, accomplished what we set out for today. It was <laughs> definitely not done the way I thought I was gonna. But we got to Quetzal. Anyways, it was a good time. Learned that rare flowers do not affect them. But we're gonna go ahead and leave this one here. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.